we need to obtain the sum so let's begin so we'll first what we'll do we'll expand the sum so for the first term all we have to do is substitute the value when it equals to one so we get the first term is half raised to the power of one minus one so that's zero plus one over five raised to the power of one plus one will be two so this is going to be our first term then the second term is going to be half raised to the power of two minus one so that is going to be one plus one over five raised to the power of 2 plus 1 is going to give us 3. So this is going to be the second term. Then we have the third term, fourth term, fifth term, and this goes on to the last term. The so last term will be when n equals to 10. So we have half raised to the power of 9 plus 1 over 5 raised to the power of 11. So what we'll do now, we will combine the first term of each of the terms, meaning we have half raised to the power of 0 plus half raised to the power of 1 plus half raised to the power of 2 this goes all the way up to the last term which is half all raised to the power of 9 so this is going to be one sum then we have all the second terms combined so we have 1 over 5 whole squared plus 1 over 5 whole cube and this sums up to the last term which is 1 over 5 raised to the power of 11. now we have two geometric progression the first geometric progression here the first term is half raised to the power of zero so that's simply one and the common ratio r so that will be half divided by one which is simply half and the second case our first term that's equals to one over five whole squared so that's one over 25 and the common ratio r is equals to one over five now in both the case we see that the r value is less than one so to find out the sum we will use the formula as n equals to a times 1 minus r raised to the power of n whole divided by 1 minus r. So this formula works for whenever the r value is less than 1. So let's use this. Now our sum will be equals to, sum for the first GP will be, so we have 1, this is the first term, multiplied to 1 minus r. So r is half whole raised to the power of n divided by 1 minus r. Add it to the second sum. So our second sum is going to be 1 over 25, that's the first term, multiplied to 1 minus 1 over 5 whole raised to the power of n divided by 1 minus 1 over 5. Now this will be equals to so 1 minus 1 over 2 raised to the power of n divided by, so we have 1 minus half, so that's going to be half, plus 1 over 25 multiplied to 1 minus 5 raised to the power of n divided by, so 1 minus 1 over 5, that will be 4 over 5. So this is now going to give us 2 times 1 minus 1 over 2 raised to the power of n plus we have uh, 1 over 5 times 4 so that's 20 so 1 over 20 multiplied to 1 minus 1 over 5 raised to the power of n so this is going to be the sum